Welcome adventurers, today we are doing the Far Frontier Peaks of Time adventure. Here in the crystal chest we have the new artifact that's called Dura's Drape, which is really good for your tanks. Other than that we have some diamonds, gold, dust and enchantment items. And in the normal chest we have some gear, gold, dust and a lot of other stuff that might be useful for you. So let's go into the adventure. In this adventure you see the goal straight away, but it's not recommended to go for it right now. First of all, let's take a look around our basic area and we can see three mercenary camps over here, one shrine of life for resurrection and some enemies around. So let's scout around and see what to expect. Some enemy camps and uh, some mountains on the left and small passageway through them. So first of all, you want to pick the right mercenaries for you. That will suit your team composition. For me, it will be light bearers. So we'll take a Strilda. In this camp we will take Mihira, because Mihira is actually quite a powerful hero in any team composition. And the last one we will go for... Hmm... Let's go for Queen. Alright, now when we have the mercenaries, we have extra heroes for this fight. How do we start this adventure? It's recommended, starting by taking out those common enemies that are the lowest level, you will have a lot, a lot of fights in this adventure, so let's go and take those guys out. Taking out more common enemies will allow you to get extra relics that will help you throughout the journey. With those guys out of the way, let's explore the map a little bit and see what lies beyond the darkness. We have some more enemies, those are level 140, so it's better to go for the weakest ones over here, 135, let's go and take them out. After taking this common enemy group, the villager will ask for your help and if we'll help him, something will happen. After taking the relic, let's see if we'll be able to take out those elite enemies guarding this uh, village. Probably not, probably it's better to take out more common enemy first and then go for them. And the last common enemy group before we'll move on to the elite guys. Fantastic, now we can go and take out those two elite enemy groups and we will start with the bottom one because those guys are weaker. Fantastic, and now the second elite enemy. And after taking those guys out, if we'll click on the village over here, we can speak to those guys and that will allow us to get the passageway behind the boss over there and the new path will open over here. So let's take the relic, um, this one should be good. And take this crystal chest. There we go. We've got some gold and some enchantment items. So what do we do now? Uh, first of all, let's take the chest over here. We have more common enemies right here next to us. We'll take them out a bit later. Let's scout the map around so we'll see what to expect. Okay, let's take this chest. And now let's move to the west side of the map to see what's happening over there. And take this chest as well. Be careful not to go uh, way too close to this boss, otherwise a lot of high level enemies will spawn there. Alright, those guys are 145, 147 and uh, we should start by taking out those common enemy groups right here. Let's do that. There we go, we removed the common enemy groups and now we have the elite enemies in front of us. If you're powerful enough, you can take them straight away. For me, I'll take the... Uh, careful approach, I'll be more cautious and I'll go here and take out this elite enemy which is uh, level 145 which will be easier for me. Also it's a good idea to take out this guy because he drops legendary relics. Uh, we will take this shield right now and take this normal chest. After that we'll take out another elite enemy down here. Now we'll move on over here and take out those elite enemies. Just be careful not to go too far to the north. And with their relic we can move on and fight those elite enemies on the east right now. Both of those elite enemies will drop legendary relics, so that might be really useful for you. Uh, let's go for this one and here we'll go lower damage received. Now when you're strong enough you can safely go through this valley and take out any enemies that you will encounter like those common enemies. Let's take the chest, alright, and uh, another relic. Good, and we will follow east for another elite enemy group. And here we got access to the enemy granary. If we'll take it out, uh, we will get advantage over the enemies and we will definitely do that. So let's see what do we have over here on the east side of the map. We have some chests, we have some common enemies, we have some elite enemies and we have the chief enemies over here. Chief enemies are level 170, so we gotta be careful with them. Before that we would like to take out common enemies and elite enemies as well. 
The elite enemy that was right here will give us another legendary relic. Let's take this one and take the normal chest. Now let's take out this common enemy. And by this time we will take the chest and we should have enough power to take out this chief enemy group. If you guys not strong enough to take out chief enemies, you can go back and take out those elite enemies first to get extra relics. For us, for the purpose of this tutorial, we will go and take those guys out so we won't be running around too much. Another legendary relic for us, let's take the Deathly Embrace, this is a good one. Take the chest and take the crystal chest that have, let's see, we have some diamonds and some dust. So after taking those guys out, we will go to the north and take out those elite enemies right here and over here. So uh, let's go and clear them out. More legendary relics for us from the <laughs> elite enemies, a uh, free chest and last common enemy group before the chief enemy. Alright, and now we got access to the chest and to the crystal chest as well behind this chief enemy. So um, we don't really have to fight them right now because we already got access to the chest. But if you want to, and I want to, let's take them out. Oh no, what's happening? Oh my god, we are being ambushed by a lot of enemies. Alright, they say that we've fallen into the trap, but since we managed to get around them, we can go away using this passageway. Or we can go away fighting those guys. Moreover, they drop relics as well. So you might just want to clear all this mess, all those elite enemies. And then take out chief enemies if you want to. Or you can just uh, leave it and take out this elite enemy that's guarding the back passageway. And move on to this area. It's up to you. For us, we will leave them here. Because it will take too long. And move on to the east. Alright, let's go and take out this chief enemy right now. If you're not strong enough, take out some of the elite or chief enemies on the left. Another legendary relic for us. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we need right now because we have a bunch of the relics. Take a look at the bag. Wow. Um, let's keep clearing the area. Before going to the north, I would like to go to the east and take those chests with me. Alright, that's nice. Okay, and now we can safely go to the northern area and uh, kill the rest of the enemies so we'll take out uh, this common enemy and those two guys now before fighting the chief enemy let's take this chest good and we got the boss fight right here 185 that's pretty powerful once again if you're not strong enough go and take out some of those guys get extra relics and then it will be good enough let's see they are pretty powerful specifically with the amount of saviors in the back line so you would like to use a lot of crowd control, that's why we picked Mihiro with us, that's why we have Tessie with us, although Wilder isn't the best team against those guys, against Maulers, I would recommend using a lot of light bearers, but we'll use what we have and since we are way stronger, that should be good enough. Yeah, it seems to be going pretty well and the enemies will be decimated, no problem. And now what we have to do is to take the rest of those chests. Now the second one that contains gold and finally the crystal chest. Tada! Dura's Drape! Congratulations you got the artifact! Hope you enjoyed this video. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to the 8K Arena official channel where we will be releasing more official tutorials and content breakdowns. До свидания!